Welcome to another big, very exciting five minute auto pairing. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be exciting anyway. It's going to be a long system, isn't it? <laughs> very quick as well, about that. some weaknesses that's not the usual way London system players play the position he's, he's improved my bishop in a way C3 potentially. Rook C7, Rook E8. Okay, <clears throat> this guy out of Quinn B8. Was ninety seven, then I got knight c three. Mind you, mind you, e six. Well, that's interesting. So he's on the bishop. The knight is protected. Can I play rook b8 here? Bishop c8, maybe g5, you know? Um, I think all rook c8 hits. Uh, yeah, I think rook b8 protects the uh, bishop. It's awkward, i got to say. Takes d5, hence the queen. Don't think he's got a crushing move there. He or she, I have to say. <clears throat> Let's see free hair. Queen d3. Bishop e6, bishop d6. Knight c3, queen d3, knight e4. I'm taking out e4. Might be worth doing that.
A mighty fool would actually protect the knight here anyway. So there's actually bishop takes e4 without dropping c3. I think there's just knight takes d6 here. Yeah, <laughs> I I think when you play the London system, it's best not to. Well, as a general rule, you don't want to play g4 like that. Generally, you just want to keep solid on the king side. But uh, the piece sack, mm, not sure. There's other movers as well. Bishop takes d5. What does that do? Oh, is it a fork of <laughs> not not this one? No, there's rook a seven apparently. Whoa. The idea is here is um rook b eight. And then knight takes d five, hitting the bishop and the rook. We're not just take if that's the anyway. Yeah, I mean, this looks okay. Knight c3 is okay. This is okay. This is okay. Okay, comments, questions, likes, appreciate it. Thank you very much.